So Nintendo's doing a really, really neat thing for Tears of the Kingdom, and they're actually tying it to the Mario movie. Now, this isn't something that's happening universally, worldwide, at every theater, but there are reports about it now that are very valid and proven. And we got to talk about this because, you know, we've been talking about that Tears of the Kingdom marketing campaign and how it's been a little weird, a little different, uh, really off from prior Zelda games. But now it appears that Nintendo knows what they're doing and it's leading to an explosion in sales, as we've already talked about in the past. Now, before we get into it, I do want to remind you that we're getting really close to our goal of 100,000 subscribers before Tears of the Kingdom. If we happen to pull that off, we'll be giving away a Zelda Switch OLED, that brand new one that's announced that comes out on April 28th. We got one of those pre-ordered and ready to go, guys. We'll also give away a Zelda Collector's Edition and one of those pins from PAX East as well that's Zelda related, because why not? You know what? We might do some other giveaways as well to celebrate 100K because it's such a big milestone. Now, what are we talking about? Well, we all know the Mario movie launched yesterday, at least in massive segments of the world that launched yesterday. I know it's not technically worldwide. There's some launches that are happening a bit later, but... For a huge chunk of the world, the Mario movie launched yesterday. A bunch of us saw it. And we're not here to give spoilers and talk opinions on the Mario movie other than me to say the critics are wrong. It's very good. That being said, when we're talking about Tears of the Kingdom in relation to it, we obviously need to be talking about marketing. It turns out that while at my movie theater they didn't do this, the movie theater not too far away from me, literally 20 minutes away from where I watched the movie, is playing Tears of the Kingdom trailers. One particular trailer, the last one we got back in February, they are playing that trailer before the Mario movie. Now, it's not clear if this is a decision made by the movie theater or a decision made by Nintendo, but what makes me think that this might be a Nintendo move is after checking out some Reddit threads and a few social media options, it looks like the Tears of the Kingdom trailer from February is being played at movie theaters across the United States. It's also being played in some other countries as well. This is quite fascinating when we look at how Nintendo's choosing to market this game because they're using a movie that's going to end up being seen by many, many millions of people and they're using it as a way to advertise their upcoming Zelda game. And while this isn't a new trailer, this isn't a new cut, this isn't giving us any new information, what it is giving us is a look inside Nintendo's master plan to advertise the game. After all, we did get a 10-minute gameplay reveal last week, but this week we haven't gotten anything new for the game. But that doesn't mean that Nintendo wasn't marketing because they're marketing it with the Mario movie. That, to me, is such a brilliant thing for Nintendo to do, and it's only going to lead into next week having even more information and more information and more information as we get closer and closer to launch. Remember, next week we enter the one month from launch period. That is super exciting. So I want to know, obviously, for all of you guys that went to the Mario movie, did you happen to get the Zelda trailer? I know for a fact, because it didn't happen at my movie theater, that this is not happening at every single movie theater, and it's probably not happening at every single showing. After all, there are a lot of companies that are buying advertising space for those you know, those pre-movie trailers and stuff. But clearly, Nintendo spent some money to have the Zelda trailer appear before the Mario movie. And I look, this to me is almost like a Super Bowl moment. If you remember all the way back in 2017, the Nintendo Switch, but in particular Breath of the Wild, was advertised during the Super Bowl. Now, this year they didn't do that, but maybe they didn't do that because they knew they had the Mario movie coming and they could put some marketing budget for Tears of the Kingdom towards getting Tears of the Kingdom played in front of live audiences who are already excited about something Nintendo. I truly think that this is a brilliant move and is going to only help Tears of the Kingdom launch at even higher numbers. We've talked about how the sales seem to be exploding for Tears of the Kingdom. We're seeing it top the sales charts in Japan. We're seeing it top the sales charts here on Amazon US. We're seeing it top the sales charts in Canada and in, in Mexico and in the UK. And like it, it, it's really starting to top all those pre-order charts. What's really fascinating is the possibility that this could become the fastest selling Nintendo game ever. And I think Nintendo's positioning it as if that is the expectation that they are going to outdo Scarlet and Violet, which currently are is the fastest selling Nintendo published game ever. 
The fun thing, though, and, and this gets pointed out a lot, and you know, we, we have a particular person uh, who's going to appreciate me mentioning this. Scarlet and Violet's a bit of a cheat code because it's two games, and some people are buying both copies, but you could really just buy one of them and be pretty happy. So it's a little bit of cheating that a Pokemon game that's really two copies of a game is the best selling, but this is the way Nintendo has listed it, which only means if Tears of the Kingdom comes out the gate and outsells the opening weekend of Scarlet and Violet as a single title release, it only makes that even more impressive. I mean, even if Zelda gets close, let's say Zelda sells 8 million, you could still probably safely presume that it is the fastest selling individual Nintendo published game ever. I, I mean, even if Nintendo won't say that of course nintendo might change their wording to say that and say the most the fastest selling individual published game ever would be i guess one way to work around fastest selling nintendo published game ever which is scarlet and violet so look i think nintendo knows what they're doing after talking for months and months about how their marketing campaign hasn't been very good and it doesn't really change the fact that maybe they could have advertised the game a bit more heading into this final month what we all knew was going to happen eventually is that Nintendo was going to open the floodgates of marketing for Tears of the Kingdom. They weren't just going to wait until the week before the game comes out, give you a final launch trailer and say we're good. They always were going to ramp up marketing at some point, and it really started at PAX East. If we're being completely honest, that was the beginning of their marketing campaign. They brought the Tears of the Kingdom Link statue out. They brought those exclusive pins. They brought it to a massive public event. And they said, hey, look, we might not have a bunch of game demos here and stuff, but we're going to make sure everybody who enters this building sees Tears of the Kingdom. You know, the 70,000, the 80, the 100,000 people coming through, you're going to see Tears of the Kingdom. And we're going to quickly follow that up with a gameplay presentation. Then we're going to follow it up with playing our last trailer before the Mario movie in several movie theaters worldwide. And then after that, they'll follow it up with whatever's next when... You know the rumors are floating out there that next week could be a Zelda Direct. I have no sources on this, by the way, so you take this with a grain of salt that it is. Uh, it's just a rumor. It's just a report. I want to believe there'll be a Zelda Direct still because I would love to get more information. I don't need more information. I just want it. So maybe we get a Zelda Direct next week. But even if we don't get a Zelda Direct next week, I think we still might get some new stuff. We might get an interview. Right, We could get our first interview about the game coming out because that's going to happen eventually. We could just get some new screenshots, which would still be new information to keep the hype going. We could start seeing 30-second commercials with new footage in it potentially popping up next week as they start to get advertisements out on social media. Right, Usually they use shorter clips for that, so that could be really entertaining. We could also begin to see updates to the official website. We could see previews popping up in a couple weeks. We have no idea when previews are going to happen, but almost every major game gets them. So yeah, there's probably a preview event happening for Tears of the Kingdom, if not now, soon. And we're going to start hearing stuff about that from various media outlets like IGN and stuff. So look, the marketing campaign is in full swing. I think every week something's going to happen to market Tears of the Kingdom massively. Right now, it's the Mario movie. Next week, it could be new information. Week after that, could be previews. Week after that, could be more new information or commercials. Week after that, could end up being another edition of previews, which come from the people reviewing the game. Then you're going to have a final launch trailer. Then you're going to have reviews drop. And then the game's going to be here, folks. So I think the path is on. Next week's the curious week. I don't know what they're going to do next week, but a Zelda Direct would just be mwah, perfecto. But we'll see what happens. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments below. Did you know they were advertising this at the Mario movie? Did you see it yourself? I have no idea because I didn't get to see it, but some of my friends saw it uh, in the theater. And obviously now I've seen other online confirmations making me make this video. You guys are awesome, and I'll catch you in the next video.